Now welcome back guys, Mushabe Jr is back. You know what, the smartest people on earth are pastor's kids, yes. Few people can do hypocrisy more smoothly than a pastor's kid. On the outside, he's devout, polite and involved. On the inside, he's cold, angry and detached or maybe simply confused. Some of the things these guys go through are terroristic. <laughs> <laughs> you dread the moment when your dad pastor will mention you during a sermon. Like seriously. <laughs> Especially when preaching about children obeying their parents. <laughs> now, when you're a pastor's kid, people assume you're either perfect or utterly rebellious. Somehow there's nothing in between. No gray area. Hakuna atisijua hapo katikati. Weni mbaya ama weni mzuri. Period. Hatu peseka. The worst is when you get to a point where you wonder if you have a name of your own, your name is forever Pastor So and So's kid. Like seriously. Oh, Najina. Now you are pretty sure. Thou shalt serve the Lord with all your heart is the 11th commandment for all pastor's kids. Talking about serving, a pastor's kid ought to have participated in the birth of Jesus Christ drama. Okay, guys. I used to ask the cop, or rather the two soldiers leading a pack sent by Herod to kill baby Jesus and other two-year-olds in our African Bethlehem. This is it. So, my big bro, the director of the play, every 25th of December, uh, tired of the usual act of me just walking up to Mary and Joseph, then yelling, Where's uh, Jesus? Where? What? You have been me, Ali Zaliwa. Eh, Matthew, Joseph was my brother too. <laughs> So our bro, our director, transformed to a modernist. He decided to modernize the act by making a wooden dummy gun. You know, just blocks of wood in a shape of a gun, and then, no, becomes a gun. But there's a problem. Where are we going to get the sound of the gun? Like, boom, you know, boom. This is where it gets funny. So my brother buys four boxes of match, actually match boxes, then gets a pin like metal with a hole, fixes it at the end of the wooden gun and stuffs the matches in. He also ties another long metallic rod, positions to hit the lead so that it can blow up the matches. You know, what's going to happen is that it will blow and give a bang sound like a gun. So the more the matches inside, the bigger the sound when it blows. Period. Now, on 24th of December, during final rehearsals after making it, my brother Joseph uh, insists on testing it. So one pull, nothing happens. <laughs> Second hard pull, nothing happens. Mark you, he's the Joseph, he's supposed to act Joseph. So he ignores it and taunts our director, who is my brother, for making a fake wooden gun for me. But something happened while he was still holding it. And my brother, that is Joseph, who was to act Joseph, accidentally pulls the trigger again. This time, the thing goes off. Oh my God. <laughs> I never saw someone yell. The guy thought he had died. While I was thinking, this guy can act a better cop than me. So fast forward to 25th December, and we're all excited, ready to surprise the church. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Herod sends us to kill baby Jesus. That's scary. Enendeni, you know those biblical Swahili. Enendeni, mukatafute hao mama juzi muakamate kisha mtoto yote aliye chini ya miaka miwili. Awao. So we left the king's presence. I was carrying the gun. There was this stupid ancient war movie soundtrack on my head just playing, you know. So we go to Joseph's and Mary's manger. Apparently an angel, actually another friend of ours, had already asked them to escape to an Egypt outside our church. Okay? So we broke down an imaginary door and yelled, Fugua! Till our lungs were almost bursting. I pulled that thing seven times until the church wondered whether I had a mental problem. Nothing happened, guys. Nothing, nothing. The thing didn't blow. The thing didn't blow. <laughs> oh my goodness. 